You guys have no clue that people are recording you. This whole time? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. Hi. Are you Alan? Yep. Hello. How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? God bless you. Nice to meet you. I'm over here cutting up. Somali to come pick me up. Fred is the producer for my new album, To Live Is Christ. So we're going to be working on that. So we're probably going to go get something to eat and start working. We're tired, but we're happy to be here. And it looks like it's not as hot as Texas. So I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, yeah. Right now it's not as hot, but it might get hot a little bit later. But so far, we're good. So it's okay. Alright. Continue the traveling, so see you later then. We're, we're waiting for Somali's recommendations. <laughs> you like? It's history in the making. Yes. yes. Yeah. Is it this week? Today is July. We are in steak and shake because we have to steak and shake <laughs> because we're hungry. Um, mine is not very good looking, but it's okay. Um, I'm hungry, by the way, because I woke, I woke up this morning really, really, really early because my friend Bonsky called me at 7. 51 <laughs> and he's like hey papa how you doing man i'm wake up i'm ready to work i'm like whoa 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 <laughs> but now our fellas from um houston texas i'm here to record the album actually we're gonna record michelle's album and we're gonna mix nelly albums Woo! we have a lot of work to do in one week so stay in tune because it's gonna be a crazy ride ain't gonna sleep nothing at all so i'm prepared Yesterday I saw Captain America for the second time. You know, You're welcome. Same. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> so he's feeling like play, a super soldier right now. Yeah, yeah. I, play, I play my game, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna have time to play nothing, even Call of Duty, so. Maybe, maybe later, you know, Nelly and I, you know. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? But he's an Xbox fan. Well, but no, I saw he's a played, gamer. But I saw Marvel vs. Capcom on his Facebook, and that's my game. Oh, I know so Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <laughs> that's, that's my game. game. That's the game. Is somebody going to be all this sweat and just writing, and you guys are all. How you looking? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh man, you saw that combo? Oh, it's crazy! <laughs> Stay tuned. Because it's going to be an awesome week. So, see you later, guys. We're gonna first see where we are right now, what we have to fix, what we have to take out, put in, and we're gonna schedule and we'll start fast. Okay. I wanna see, I wanna organize, I'm gonna be working on it. I don't wanna do nothing of music, uh, like I already told you, tomorrow. I wanna start vocals tomorrow, boom, to Friday, because I wanna make my the whole thing done.
right now we are looking for the temple. I'm doubling the tempo. I'm gonna do it in English and Spanish. Y doblando el tiempo. En 94 y luego estoy haciendo doble para que. Cuando suena el click track. Give me el, el tarareo que estabas haciendo cosas yeah. like it. Um, oh goodness, how was it? Hold on, there was a... <laughs> A song called Giants Fall and the concept that I have behind it um, first off I want to do the featuring with Somali and Somali happens to be a personal friend of mine we both have known each other for years and we've encouraged each other through the music ministry and through um, especially the urban genre now we're both venturing out and doing a little bit uh, different I'm sure everybody's gonna enjoy it but the song we're working on is called Giants Fall and it's a song empowering women a lot of women are dealing with depression and insecurities and fears that a lot of times set them back. And the reason it's called Giant's Fall is biblical connotation, David and Goliath, and how that giant fell. But just the giants that we have in our lives that a lot of times do not allow us to, you know, go to the next level to conquer that fear. And this is something the Lord was speaking to me in the entire process of this album is to step outside of my comfort zone. He was bringing my insecurities to surface so that I could learn to deal with them 
and um, make this album everything that he intended for it to be. So Giants Fall is just a song empowering women, encouraging them that in Christ they can be made free and be all that God has intended for them to be. I'm really excited to be a part of this project, especially of this song. Um, Michelle and I go way back, back to like 2006 or 7, um, but we had never actually met in person and to me it's an honor to be sitting at this moment next to her um, sharing this song that is so special to her and so special to me because we both as women have faced our giants. We both have fallen in front of them, never defeated, we have fallen in them. But um, through the grace of God, through His amazing grace, we have been able to get up um, and walk in by faith, understanding that it's not by your, by our strength, it, it's by God's strength. So be able to, to have these two women that have gone through their lives in separate paths now come up into one path. It's just amazing. It's an honor for me um, being able to share this with her, with her husband, with my husband. And um, we know that the same way the song is being a blessing to us as we're writing it, as we're producing it, it's definitely going to be beyond a blessing to you, not only the women, but also the men, the young, the old, um, the children. They're going to be able to understand the concept and the meaning and the word that the Lord is bringing through this song. To become more like him is how I gain victory. I prefer something, look, when, you, when, when this part comes, it's like, this is like, como que el, la parte donde, después de la playa, como que cogiste el, 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 When people hear that, it's like, it's like a declaration. That part is a declaration. No, si se pone ahí a poner como que bien bajito. Rise above the giant fall. 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 My mentality is no matter, I could write 3,000 verses and do 8 million songs, but God's word is the only thing that can change the human heart. So I like to include, you know, what better way, because I know the song, I don't understand it word for word, but from what I've been told, it can be, it's a very abrasive song. You can argue with me all you want, but you can't argue with God's word. So having that little piece at the end, is the reminder, Basically, you know. Like, no te gusta. Brega con esa. <laughs> if you don't exactly. like them, take it up with my master. <laughs> you don't want to talk with me, that's fine. You don't want to talk with my hand, that's fine. 
Talk with G-O-D. <laughs> That's right. K-I-G Records. All right. So do we just do it like that and then... Yeah, let me see. That? Let me see how we can fit that here. It's the uh, We are in the studio day two. Um, last night was, we have a lot of work doing. Um, right now we are working on a few tracks. Uh, actually, we ate this morning a really good and delightful and uh, nutritional um, sandwich with eggs <laughs> with a little bit of orange juicy <laughs> and bacon with a little bit of maple syrup. syrup. Um, he drinks coffee. Yes, no water, no nada, coffee. Lots. She was more slowly, more water. I give some grapes around the, the plate, you know, like decoration and, and, and el el elimination because it's not decoration only. You can have to eliminate it. <laughs> them. I have a half an apple. And it was a good breakfast for a blessing day today in the studio. And now we're working on dar Darles La Verdad in Spanish. I'm giving the truth because there's a lot of sin and outside. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> actually, um, there's sadly there's people um, doing bad things and and they they lost the fear of God and, and we want to them know that in John one uh, first John one first, six. first John one six right yes says what Michelle says because I don't remember what she says you know <laughs> when you hear the track you're gonna know what she says because in the Bible says what she says. Um, <laughs> So it was being a, a blessed day, it's been good. Um, right now it's like 150 and we are going to the another tracks. We already have almost three tracks done. We keep them rolling. We are thinking to have it maybe five today. Um, honestly, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we know we're going to do it. So stay <laughs> tuned. And like I told you a few days ago, um, enjoy the ride. No, you are breaking it back. I'm TNT. I'm, I'm AT and T, bro. You're T-Mobile. We own you. This and T-Mobile. We own you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Today we did Danes La Verdad featuring Juan Carlos. Um, I recorded vocals on that. Obed's making the beat for that later on tonight. And I also, and then, oh, right now we're recording So Far Gone, or Far Gone, um, and no. hopefully later on tonight no. we'll finish up with the recording, so that's what's going on right now. This is more rain. This is unbelievable. So, uh, this morning was raining, right? Raining. <laughs> and right now it's raining again. So somebody told, oh, let's make this, I have this idea. Why can't we wait rain again and we can record that footage because we need it? Yeah, that was not my idea. <laughs> I no, think sir. Wasn't your idea. <laughs> you think it's gonna pass? But you know, you on no, the, on it, the it, it's, 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 it's easy. Don't worry. Um, no, no, you can. Of course, it has to rain when we're here in the studio trying to get the album done. Not like because we ha already have a whole bunch of work and yeah, little time. Because there have to happen <laughs> struggles in this recording. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, this song that we were just working on before the rain started to come, um, the the whole song was inspired by uh, Luke chapter 10, uh, the the end of that chapter, and. I'm, I'm trying to write something that kind of sums it up so people who aren't saved can understand what the song is about um, if you're not familiar with these Bible characters. And just I'll sum it up. It says, Luke 10 tells us of two sisters. The first, Mary, is sitting at the feet of Jesus and listening to his word. But we're told Martha was distracted with much service. She approaches Jesus and asks him to tell Mary to help. Jesus answers her saying, Martha, you're worried about many things, but there's only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her. And uh, this this particular passage of scripture is what inspired the song, but it couldn't fit better if you know if if you knew it wasn't who my wife was and who she is now. Um, very much, always has wanted to serve God as as Martha, you know, was doing in the story. But sometimes in our service to God, we can get easily distracted and uh, forget who we're doing it for, what we're doing it for. And uh, I've been able to see uh, closer than anyone else what God has done in, in her life. And now she's very much Mary from this story, sitting at the feet of Jesus saying, what next? What do you have for me? What do you want me to do?
Actually, the title of my first solo album and because Michelle is such a common name um, every time in my like in my old album I'd always say Michelle from the soul and so somebody I guess thought that it was this like all together and then everybody kept calling me that so it kind of like stayed <laughs> but, it does kind of have a ring like Michelle uh, from the soul yeah, yeah. yeah but it does kind of sound like when he's saying you know, just, yeah, uh, de la soul. Michelle de la soul He's around the corner here. Let me go get him. Come over here, Nelly. Yeah, yeah, you guys can both spin in there. That's a big camera. Yeah. There we go. Here he is. Um, this I is Nelly. Like, but like part of a, a cheek. You guys are closing up. So, so are we. Don't you dare touch <laughs> 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 Alright, guys. Well, thank you guys for coming to the show. This is Crossroads. I don't know. Anything else we're going to do in that order. We do this back in English. English, Spanish. Yeah. yeah. Um, before we go on, first of all, where are you guys both yes, from? Yes, yes. San Antonio, Texas. Sa yes. Texas, not a good thing. You got a Spurs fans? Yes, very much, sir. Very much. You can't be in San Antonio and not be a Spurs fan. Yeah, we're both Spurs. You know, okay, the, the interview needs to be over then. If y'all are not Spurs fans, then we're just going to cut it right now. <laughs> okay, so that's Michelle, and the uh, awesome husband is? Donnelly. I'm honored and surprised because my name is different. <laughs> it is very different. Yeah. Okay, now, what is your guys' background? Like ethnicity, what is it? I'm Puerto Rican and he is all the way white. I'm as white <laughs> as the hat on my head. <laughs> That's a really white hat. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, it's definitely good to have you guys on the show. When Somali talked to me yesterday, I said definitely for sure. One of the things that we thrived on is actually always having ministers, new musicians coming out and introduced not only for the expo, it's just to share that with them and, and kind of get a little back. Um, Alan Vaughn is his stage name, and he's actually going to do some music scratches right now for the intro of my album. Um, the intro of the album is called Forget My Name, and he is doing an incredible job right now. So he's doing everything um, with his mouth, which is really, really trippy, and we are catching him live in action right now. So when I'm trying to go. Um, it's not, you can hear it like, it has to be like from the throat, you know what I'm saying? So what you're telling me like, it's like, that has to be done with uh, like a grass beat type of thing. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Okay, I don't get it. Yeah. 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 Ah, okay, la de Harold is, is going to take us like that to do. It's going to have everything in it, really. Without a care in the world. Yes, he can't even have to. Yeah. I'm really tired. 
be in like three days. And we have to finish a lot of tracks. We keep, we keep going. And now, I already finished the intro. Um, we're gonna record at 8.30. We're gonna start recording. Um, her song with her husband, the song with Harold, and another Outside the Lines, I think, the, the other track. And we end with six, seven tracks for today. And tomorrow, we end Nelly's album mixing, and we are almost done with Michelle out. So. And Friday, Friday we're gonna have the last touch I, I think we're gonna make it. It's been a big journey, and then next week I'm just rest Sunday and Monday and start working, and then I go back to the normal. You know, this is my work. I love it. I love my studio. I love make music. So I'm happy. Even my body doesn't say that. I already ate rice with chicken and has chloroform. That thing it make me like. Whoa. I just need go to the Walmart. It's gonna appear here and buy some ice cream because I don't want to do my powerful ice cream. Because if I do my ice cream, that will be chloroform plus nitro and anesthesia. You know what I'm saying? I haven't come from my body. I say. I'm just saying random things. Does, does it even make sense what I'm saying right now? You know, I don't care. <laughs> so Nelly is done with his part for It's On Me. And we're probably gonna be recording that sometime. Either, maybe not tonight, I don't know. But it's coming out on May. So the weather here is way better than Texas because you get a little bit of breeze in Texas. All you get is that nasty heat that gets in your eyes and through your jeans. And this is dry, so it's I'm getting some fresh air because I've been recording all day long for the past. This is day three, and I'm tired, so I need a break to just get some fresh air. And hopefully tonight we can wrap up a couple more tracks and that'll make the end of today. But also it'll be half of the album already recorded. The goal is to try to get it all done by Friday. We'll see if that happens. But right now we're making really good time. I'll just be tired. <laughs> but it's been a really, really awesome experience to come out here. I always love to, whenever I come and record, I always love to leave home, leave my comfort zone, and just unwind somewhere else where I can just be completely dedicated to the music and just go all out and focus on whatever, you know, the, the task ahead of me. And so that's what we did this year. We said, all right, well, we're gonna go out and uh, just go away from home and work on the music and that's been the best thing ever because I feel like I could be more creative. I'm not stressing about anything I got going on back home. I just focus on getting my music done and letting God do what God does and just, you know, be as creative as I can be and so it's been good, man. It's been, I've just been so grateful. This week has been a dream come true. I feel like I was grinding for like three years and for the longest time I felt like I wasn't getting anything done with the music and I started getting like mad discouraged because it was like, man, you know, nothing's been popping off for me and you know, what's going on? And I mean, I, I was getting busy with shows, but studio time, like I felt like I hadn't got anything done. But those three years, God really had to grow me. There were a lot of like heart issues I had. I, I had, and, and I mean that not physically, but spiritually, like there was a lot of things in my heart I had to work on a lot of selfishness and pride that God had to like take out of me and show me look I'm breaking you down and I and I'm I'm, I'm molding you to be the woman I've designed you to be and I finally got to a point where I realized like okay God is trying to do something with these years of me kind of being silent 
then I started to appreciate the downtime and make the most of it and started just grinding and, and, and getting my word and my devotional time so I could learn more. And I feel like in these three years, I've grown leaps and bounds, you know, as a Christian, as a woman. In these three years, I, I got married. So that was a, an awesome experience, just to be able to you know, now I know the responsibility of being a wife, and I thank God for my husband every day because he pushes me to be better. He sees all the the, the nastiness in me and loves me in spite of it, and um, just he he pushes me to be a better Christian, a better woman, a better artist, and his help has been monumental in the making of this project. And his, you know, his fingertips are all over this project just as much as mine are because it's our ministry, it's our project. Um, it's just been a lot of growing and, and tears and grind for the past few years. And to finally see that everything is coming together is so surreal but so exciting at the same time because I feel like, thank you God, we finally are able to get this done. And that's why the album is called To Live Is Christ, because I had to come to a point in my walk as a Christian and as a person to say, you know what, nothing on this earth matters more than a relationship with Jesus. He's the reason why I live. To live is him. And um, the album just has a lot of life issues um, that, you know, are directed towards, you know, a, a, a lot of songs for women, but a little bit of everything and I think that's why the project is going to be powerful because it makes it brings present like problems and, and, and brings them with scriptures basically like it makes the scriptures relevant with today because it uses examples of things that go on today and I really think that people are going to like it at least I hope they do <laughs> but um, it's been an interesting ride and I'm excited to see what God is going to do by the end of this week, but even more so, just to, you know, I can already foresee what is going to happen once the album officially releases after we get all the other work done. So I am excited that this is all coming together. The effect that I already have, the, the, another course, so the course is too much. So I want to end it with, with the verse, and then the beat just dropped uh, down something. Okay, I got you. This, this, this track is a song that I've always been excited about, lyrically, uh, but, but with the beat, it was right. a, it was a little simple for a song that had so much depth, um, and Obed is bringing it up to par. You want me to wait for the air? Yeah. <coughs> Stop waiting for the air conditioners go down. Let me tell you something. A good note. Do you know the fur planting was made from the transformers? <laughs> when they say Autobots plant and mold. Planting. They go planting. Planting. No planting. That's planting. my that's my new one. Planting. Oh, okay. That, <laughs> that's plant? what seeds do. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's the remix. This is cool. It's the legacy, uh, uh, the legacy, it's the legacy, uh, uh, the legacy, it's the legacy, uh, uh, the legacy, it's the legacy. Hold on, let me do it one more time. It's the legacy. It's camera action in the dough. Only cared about my heat playing on the radio. Jesus had to crush my pride. Told me it's because of him that I could shine. Brutal. We are recording over it. Um, very cool, catchy, popish type of song that's going to be on the album, and it basically just talks about how an experience that I, I had in my ministry where I went through lights, a phase where I, I kind of lost my focus and what the ministry is about and why I'm doing what I'm doing. The glitz and the glamour, the you know, lights, I'm just about doing this for Jesus. And it's an encouragement to a lot of other ministries out there that the may be struggling with that because unfortunately so whenever you have a spotlight ministry, you always run, it's always a struggle because you're in the spotlight all the time so you oh, constantly have to keep your heart in check that pride doesn't get in the way. In the so it's an encouragement also to those ministries to keep their heart in the right places, stay focused. So. 
Me and my homie Obed and Architecto are in the lab working on it. Only care about the lights, lights, camera action, and the dough. Only care about my heat playing on the radio. Jesus had to crush my pride. Tell me it's because of him that I can shine. Only care about the lights, lights, camera action, and the dough. Only care about my heat playing on the radio. Jesus had to crush my pride. Tell me it's because of him that I can shine. Say it again. And then you're gonna have that whole crowd. Like, don't get me wrong, I mean, I put in work in the other two, but this album, 
it's just been like amazing because it's just a stretch and we've all just, it, the chemistry has been amazing because everybody's on the same page and just awesome ideas and I just can't wait to see what it comes out. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. This album has needed to come out for a long time. Um, it's something that I started actually before even dating Michelle. Um, I began work on this album in Austin and it's been something that's been heavy on my heart for a long time and, and one of the reasons that it hasn't been birthed, if you will, uh, is a testimony in itself. Uh, it's, it's my own disobedience. It's, it's my being Moses trying to argue with God. Well, God, I'm not a, I'm a, I'm not a man of eloquent speech and saying, you know, basically what Moses said, you, you picked the wrong one. Maybe you should use somebody else. And God didn't pat me on the back and say, but you're such a good rapper or such a good singer. He told me exactly what he told Moses. And that is, but I will be with you. And that was all. And, and that's really what has kept me going is, is not so much desire as it is with my wife. For her, it's a passion. It's a desire. For me, it's it's an act of obedience. It's an act of service. And some would kind of question that motive. Um, well, if you're going to do it out of obligation, you shouldn't do it. But I, I disagree. I, I would say anything God asks you to do, you should do it. Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane and asked God, if this cup could pass, let it pass. But if not, not mine, but thy will be done. And that's kind of like what has happened with this. And, and not to make light of the Garden of Gethsemane, that my, my struggle to do this album is nowhere near the prayer in the garden. But over this last five years, it's been very much like that. Before the marriage, uh, my wife has always loved music. She's always loved God and she's always loved music as long as I've known her. And there was a time where I wouldn't say that, I, I, I guess the priority list should always be God, then your spouse or your significant other, or really your spouse biblically, and then the, the ministry. But I could honestly say, and I know she wouldn't have a problem with me saying this, would be there was a time where it was God, the ministry, and then me. And there, there, it took time to, to get that, to, to God working in her by, the, by His grace and by the power of the Holy Spirit, rearranging her priorities. And with the ministry becoming ours, she very much used to be like this. This, this, is, this is mine. This is my baby. And any time I would get close to it, there, there would be tension, thick, like you could cut it in the air with a knife because it meant so much to her and she's never let anyone in that close. So as we approached marriage, the idea of having to share it was, was very much a reality for her. She knew it's coming, it's coming, and it's, it's coming, and it, the tension builds, it builds, and it builds. And it, it wasn't until the last two years, we've been married officially two years now, and over the course of this two years, God has been working in her. And it's been one of the most beautiful privileges of my life has been watching my wife grow in the Lord and, and in this area specifically as she's been opening up her hands opening up her heart and allowing me to come in but to put it all on her would would be wrong for me to do as well because I know that again back to my Moses mentality God you should be using somebody else I don't think I'm the guy for this it was it was she would get frustrated with me like Man, why, why aren't you doing this with me more? It would be easier to bring you along in this ministry if you had a little more passion or if you cared a little bit more. So, so God has been kind of working in her to open up her hands off of what, what she's held so tightly, to open up her heart, to allow me to come in and work with her together. But what he's been doing in me is relighting that fire that I had when I first picked up the mic for him. And 
that that um, that's happened, and, and I say that not not braggingly, but I, I say that victoriously. Like, thank you, God, for relighting in me the passion, and, and man, His grace and His mercy has been all over. Because I, I don't deserve to do this. I don't deserve the passion to be restored in me. Because for so long, I fought it, and, and to the point to where there was there was a long period of time to where. I put the mic down. We got phone calls to go places and minister and do shows. And I purposely put myself, not even in the passenger seat, but in the back seat. So, man, the, the last two years has really been just that. God working in her to tone it down. God working in me to tone it up. And now we walk hand in hand in this. Uh, and I mean, I could write a book on this topic alone, but... Um, so it's like a step of faith at the same time with this build, right? It is. It really is. She's trusting me now with her baby. Um, but then also, I'm letting my guard down and, and I'm being more vulnerable and, and allowing, uh, I, I guess, and just, it's, it's, a, it's a step of faith doing this, period. Because um, you always have times where you think like, man, was that good? Like you. We would be lying if we said that we didn't want for people to like what we were doing. Um, you know, I don't do this for attention or for fans or, or, or for anything like that. But I would be lying if I said that. Well, I don't care if nobody likes my songs. I'm I'm just I'm just doing songs. Well, nobody does songs just for themselves. That's that's silly. That would that would be a lie. Um, but letting my guard down and saying, okay, can can you, can you help me? Can you can you show me? how to have that passion and just again letting down my guard observing her letting that that spark rub off on me um, but it was it, it was again all instantaneous all going on together God is working in the both of us and uh, just that that fusion that took place took place very recently I, I mean I would say just a few months before our trip here our our step of faith to, to hop on a plane and come out to Florida and, and finally lay down these two projects. Um, it, it's, it's been multiple steps of faith, but God is so patient, so gracious, He's allowed us to take baby steps of faith. And uh, here we are. Take some rest time and have an hour 
we're gonna see how she's uh, going. So, okay, so a um, little bit of a crisis, nothing too crazy, but I'm losing my voice. Um, it's been really raspy. I had to actually stop in the middle of my recording. And uh, I'm gonna do a hot shower and tea, and hopefully in a few hours I'll be feeling better. If not, I have to push everything to tomorrow. Um, kind of a bummer because we were trying to get everything wrapped up tonight so we could at least have a day to rest. But then again, um, these are things that happen. It has been a long week, 15 tracks to record in six days. Um, is extremely difficult, but we're going to trust God and uh, just have faith and everything's going to work out. So you guys stay tuned and uh, that's it. You seem kind of bummed. I am. Because <laughs> I wanted to get everything done tonight, but then again, I understand. You know what I mean? It's I'm, I've been beating my body for, you know, this past week, but hopefully everything will work out. So I'm going to just try to rest it off a little bit and if it's up to me, I would do it because I'm crazy. But then again, I don't want to forfeit the, the quality of the next couple of tracks that we still have pending just because I want to go out and do it. So I, I got to take it easy and listen to my producer and my vocal coach. And even if I'm like, I want to get it done, I just have to tan tranquila. So <laughs> we'll see. I will keep you guys posted on what happens. So I'm going to take a bunny zone. I am trying to find hotels that are near to Obed's place here in Palm Bay because my mother, who lives on the east side, or no, west Florida, is going to come visit me tomorrow. I haven't seen her since I got married, so it's been a few years since I've seen my mom. So that's exciting. That's a nice little treat. Um, I know it kind of stinks because of the crisis that we're uh, running into now with Michelle losing her voice, but God is in control. Um, she's got a lot accomplished, um, and we're just gonna we're just gonna hand it over to the Lord and see what happens next. There's no point in getting stressed out about it because that's not gonna make her any better or make it get done any faster. So we uh, we're gonna press on. What are your recommendations for tea? Throat coat is the best one. I don't have that. I just have uh, green tea with honey, but it's been helping though. Um, but it's, it's all going to work out. We're just going to trust God that everything's going to work out smooth and take it easy. Do what we can tonight. If we can't do it tonight, then we do it tomorrow. But it'll work out. So we got three, four, no, four more tracks to do. Giants Fall with Somali, Running for Love, Man Security, and the Song of Money Montes. But we're, we'll get it done. <laughs> What's the situation with the coffee? Uh, co uh, the, the black tea? Yeah, the it's tea. good. It tastes like like bland ramen noodle soup, like caldito. Black tea with garlic. Yummy. But it's good for your throat because garlic has um, properties good antibacterial properties so it's good for the throat it fights back any type of craziness that you might have going on in here get in there can we get he's asking me how is chilling with mom oh how is chilling with mom fun i'm getting spoiled i haven't seen her in a I few know, he, years he, and she he walked out with a different hat can you right, sure. came back awesome. oh yeah this, this is what i had already ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah, i love this shirt but um babe did you see look at what's up Bonsky here isn't that nasty? As soon as That's you walked cool. in, I was like, if Nelly sees that. I got the one also that has all the Marvel characters all over it. Ooh. Oh, so you haven't seen your mom in two years and just like, what? They're buying your mama or what? I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Where are we at? Uh, now we're doing the Somali scores. And, uh, oh. and, and we're done. Okay, Puente, that's oh. going to make us go to the other corner. She's, she's singing with the. Lyrics on the Blackberry. Who oh, that? I emailed
<laughs> you see how she can be? I give it a compliment. She's defeated. There's my sugar. microphone in the middle and all of us are going to scream hey in unison. Yeah. One, two, three. Hey! 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 It's in the ball. Okay. No, it's stay like just above halfway. Security. This is the last day in the studio and it's bittersweet. We're all happy that the album's going to be done, but we'll miss each other. Um, it's been a really, really fun ride. And so the song that I'm working on right now is Man Security. Thank you, Jesus. I got my voice back yesterday. It was a little bit rough, but I got a chance to rest. And uh, we finished Running for Love last night. We started Man Security. Somali is actually recording my vocals and she's been my vocal coach. Uh, <laughs> this is the hardest song, the most challenging song on the album for me because of the high notes, but she is stretching me and we are getting it done. So um, it's just a beautiful song, talks about salvation and the security that we have in Jesus. Um, acoustic and drums, so it's a really, really cool song. I think you guys are going to like it. It has a little bit of a funky country feel to it, but... Uh, we're just trying to be diverse on the album, so I hope you guys like it, and it's, it's good stuff. The new replacement for the producer. Samali la arquitecta. When was the last beat you made? Um, you remember that song, Lo que consumo y el inmortal? Yeah, te está tumbando el kiosco. My Lord is never. I was there with him when he made it. So I technically, since we are one flesh, I made it. Cause seriously, guy, you think she did the track? I yeah, helped she it. She did it. She did it. Okay, I say it. <laughs> I say it. She did it. It's like Victoria's Secret. You never know what's the secret. So in this case, <laughs> I'm the one That's that all that secret. <laughs> Addy, so I was in the picture of Planky. No. Oh. No, she know. wanted me to. I'm like, no. <laughs> she looks like Wait, she has. That's not your one. friend. That's my friend. That's both. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't be friends with her. What? It's all exclusive. <laughs> Addy. Addy. <laughs> That's my daughter and Kaylee's planking. Oh my god. Wow. And look at this. Even Scooby Doo is planking. <laughs> Plank mode. Bam. We're going to do the Creation Studios plank. You have no idea, sir. We finished officially at 2 2.34 in the morning. That whole album was recorded. And the early album is already done, so we made it. I thought it would be hard, but we did it. And God, Michelle is like completely tired. I don't feel my legs, even I'm using it right now. I'm just kidding, but I'm tired. To live as Christ was an unforgettable experience. A lot of hard work, long hours in the studio. 
but more importantly, a lot of heart in every single song. There's a piece of me in every lyric, and my desire is that this album would travel places that I cannot, to teach people that the only life worth living is in Christ.